Hey guys, it's me, Ole. And this has always been my favorite phone, the BlackBerry Classic, but it's old now. It's about 10 years old. But in anticipation of the upcoming Android variant of this phone, the Sinwa Q25, I've decided to try and use this phone and its operating system, BlackBerry 10, in 2025. And I'll take you on my journey. But a disclaimer up front, I won't be able to use this phone as my main, main phone for the upcoming about a week. That's because I work in social media and media production, so I have to use my iPhone to just access all of the accounts and upload stuff and so on. But I will install a second SIM card into this phone and use it for all the things it can do, like the basic stuff like calls, emails hopefully, and some apps that you can still install on this BlackBerry device. So, but let's dive into the video. I think there's three things I need to make a phone work for me. And that's number one, I want the latest and greatest BlackBerry had to offer in the time of BlackBerry 10. And in times where the BlackBerry servers are not reachable anymore, that is kind of difficult. Number two, I need to communicate. So I need the BlackBerry Hub, as well as my mail and my calendar to work. And number three, apps. I don't know why I pronounce it that way. But there's just some apps that you need in everyday life. So let's take a look at that as well. But before we begin to make those steps towards using BlackBerry 10 in 2025, there's a big shout out I want to make. And that is to the YouTube channel Project Berry 2.0. Without this channel, I just wouldn't know what to do, uh, how to install things on this device. Well, I kind of know from the old days, but so much has changed. So many apps don't work anymore. You have to really try and find out which apps still work and which don't. Maybe tweak them a little bit. And Project Berry really does that. So a big shout out to him. So number one, we want the latest and greatest BlackBerry 10 operating system. Since the BlackBerry servers are down now, you can't just go into the settings and update the device. You have to go a different route. And that is by downloading the BlackBerry Desktop Manager, which is also not available officially anymore from BlackBerry themselves. And you also have to download the update, which is like a Windows installation file to make it work. And I'll share all the videos by Project Berry in the description box below, which is also the installation process for the updates for the apps and so on. So check the description box if you want to follow this video. So you download all of this. I didn't have a Windows computer which you need for this installation. So I had to install a virtual machine onto my Mac. So that took so long and ages until I was finally able to make it work. And after hours of doing this, I found out that I already was on the newest version of BlackBerry 10. And there's another problem that you have because the BlackBerry servers are not running anymore. Because after you restart the device, you have to activate the BlackBerry 10 device. Also, if you buy new ones now on eBay or somewhere else, you always have to activate the phone. And that is just not possible as easily as it was before. But there is a trick, there's a workaround where you have to use the voice control of the phone, but I'll also leave a link to that in the description box below. I didn't have to use it since my phone is already activated. Number two, communication. I thought the BlackBerry Hub just isn't usable anymore. Since on Android, you can't use it on some devices like the Key 1, Key 2, because it actually needs Android 9, and those devices only run Android 8. But on BlackBerry 10, because the BlackBerry Hub is so integrated into the OS, you can still use it, which is great. But there's also some steps that you have to take. Of course, it's different for every email you have. If you have Outlook, if you have Gmail, you can just search on Project Berry's channel. I have Gmail. I used a workaround using app passwords in the security manager, and I was able to install my mail. 
as well as my calendar without any problems. I can send mails, I can receive mails, I can receive attachments. So that is just the normal way the BlackBerry Hub worked since it was released when it was new. A big part in communication for me is also using WhatsApp. And sadly, there still isn't a really good alternative for using WhatsApp on BlackBerry 10 at the moment. You can use WhatsApp web, but that's just fiddly and really doesn't integrate into the phone. But on Reddit, I saw that someone is developing a WhatsApp client for BlackBerry 10. So let's just hope that this will see the light of day and that, you, that we all can download it pretty soon. You can actually use Telegram if you communicate by this app. But um, yeah, let's see more about this later on. And number three, probably the most important thing for a lot of you is apps. And I'm happy to announce that there are still many apps that actually work on BlackBerry 10 devices. And the best thing, again, is to just go on Project Barry's channel and search for the app you want to use and see if he has a video on it. But he actually has a Mediafire page where he has all his apps listed. And uh, I downloaded Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, um, Google Maps, Discord. And all of those apps are running without a problem. Oh, and by the way, now that we're using Instagram, make sure you follow me on my social media channels and you can see them right now. Of course, the BlackBerry Classic just isn't the quickest of phones and you have to have patience because those apps are not as fast as they are on a native Android device or maybe a native iOS device. But if you want to use this phone as a dumb phone where you can make phone calls, write emails, maybe listen to some music on Spotify, check in on Discord, um, I think you could definitely make it possible. So I'll be using the BlackBerry Classic for the next week, put a SIM card in it, try to use it as a regular phone, yeah, and then I'll tell you if it is possible or not. And maybe you saw that chat icon on Discord with Crackberry Kevin's profile picture in it. Maybe there's a video coming with products that Crackberry Kevin produces, but stay tuned for that. So this was kind of an announcement video. So part one of the challenge. If you have some things that you want me to try on this device or on BlackBerry 10, let me know in the comment section below. And definitely make sure you follow me on my social media channels, Instagram and X, and make sure to subscribe and we'll see us in my next video. Until then, bye-bye.